Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jerps, that is my legal first name. And we are here back on home. And I don't remember what we did last time. Uh, it's been like a week since I recorded. I kind of record on my weekends up from work and I haven't edited the video that precedes this one. So I don't know what happened. I remember we did the wedding event and it was boring and I'm probably gonna edit that out. Um, Obviously we have resident services, but we're not at three stars yet. I think we're still, oh, I know what we, we have a campsite person. We're going to see who's at our campsite. That's the big one today. And we're going to keep working towards three stars. I remember a little bit now. Okay, cool. So let's get started on that. Good morning, everyone. Thank goodness we have Isabel. Now for today's announcements. Um, I had just put up the campsite before I ended the video last time. So it might take a day before campsite villager comes in. So I might, I might time travel. My redonkulous outfit. My phone's ringing. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd like, love to introduce you. Sorry, unfortunately. Please come to oh, Lottie. Okay, cool. So we have the happy home paradise now. Oh, if we just automatically go there. Yay, there she is. Yeah, they used to work at the, uh, the place in New Leaf that I can't think of it. <laughs> remember Lyle? Was Lyle her dad or her uncle? I don't remember. I do also remember there was an Easter egg where sometimes Lottie would come to work without makeup on and her eyes would be a little smaller and she wouldn't have eyelashes. Yay! Oh, my house got upgraded again. Cool. We only have one more upgrade for the house. That's exciting too. Ooh, who's online? Nobody. All right, let's check our mail and then we'll check our neighbors, see who's crafting what. Oh yeah, I bought a bunch of posters because I got the Sanrio people. Nothing. He's just standing there. Hey, buddy. Oh, he has a bed now. That's nice. <laughs> Where'd he get that? Oh, she's crafting. Where you going, girl? Derpy, where have you been? I've been gone for a week. It was at work. God. Yay. I got the natural square table. Hey, buddy. Derpy, where have you been? Reverse snacked. Uh, boy. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> he vomed all over the place. Lots of weeds grew. Nice. Love that that happened. Oh, CJ's here. Cool. Hello. Let's go see what Tom Nook has to say to us. Probably something like, you upgraded your house. Great job. I'll fully customize the house once I fully upgrade it. So the customization will be free but let's pay off this loan real quick okay so we got the new house upgrade in the works so let's see what should i do our campsite is impressive let's see what isabel has to say about island ratings uh maybe not okay i'll talk to flo i'll check the campsite i don't think there's gonna be a camper there but i'll check oh i'll get the fossils for today and stuff and we'll check out what's at the store and then i'll time travel to the next day because I don't think much is going to be happening today. Nope, nobody's here. Oh well. Wake up, bitch. I have another fossil for you to look at. All the museum stuff is done for today. What's up, dude? Let's see what the boys got in here today. Why is that wrestling figurine written in English? Not animalese. Okay, I want this mobile. And I think I might start the happy home paradise this episode. Now let's talk to Nibbles really quick. See if she's like, oh my god, you were dead. Ooh, money. Ooh, more money. Ooh, yes. The beekeeper's hive. The best item. That means we can get started on our apiary pretty quick after we finish out the main story stuff. I know I could probably start working on it now, but I'd rather just wait and get all of that stuff out of the way and then focus on builds and stuff. My last island, I never got the beekeeper's hive DIY recipe. So I'm so happy we got it really early on for this because I want to make an apiary. I want to make a little bee area. Bees are my favorite insects in IRL. So they make me very happy. I just think they're cute. They buzz along. My dad, when I was little, taught me not to be scared of them because they don't want to sting you. They just want to boop around on flowers. So when I was a kid, we would had this lavender bush and we had the fattest, chunkiest bumblebees in our yard. And he would literally go up to the bees and just like touch them and pet them on their little fuzzy backs. And they never paid him any mind because he wasn't like actively hurting them or like trying to attack them. He was just petting them like a big old doofus. So that really made me not scared of bees. Now I really like them and want to be their friend. I do. Every time I see bees, I uh, just stay at them and watch them. I'm like, mm, what are you guys doing? <laughs> you being bees. <laughs> I love them. I think they're so cool. When I was a kid, I unironically watched the B movie a lot. And there was on the B movie DVD, there was a thing on how to like make a bee friendly garden. I wanted to do that. And I like kind of roped my dad into buying bee friendly plants. I live in an apartment right now, but 
we're hoping to buy a house sometime soon. And when we do, I want to make a, a bee friendly garden. I want to actually keep bees, but I don't know if I can, how I can do that yet. Remember everyone was freaking out about Nico and how cute he is and Jesus Christ. Anyway, yes, he is very cute, but I think Wardell is cuter. Yay, I'm glad I'm here too. God, look at Wardell. He's so fucking cute. I love him. Hello. <laughs> I love him. Uniform. Oh, look at me. I'm so cute. We're ready. Let's go see Lottie. All right, Lottie, I'm ready. Everybody calls this character Eloise, but I think her name is pronounced Eloise. And I'll, because there's no U in her name. I think it's just Eloise not Eloise. So I'm going to call her Eloise. If anybody gets mad at me. Oh, well. Oh, I want that, um, that bulletin board with the starfish on it. That's cute. Oh my God. I also like this table runner with the starfish on it. It's really cute. And when we're done, I'm going to run around and get these vines and stuff and the glowing moss and see if there's a recipe that I can get. I know for the first one, I remember it's like pretty basic and you can't like change the outside of the house. You can't do anything on the outside. And I don't think there's like partition walls or anything. And you also, I don't think can expand. Okay. What I like to do first is what I think everybody likes to do is do the floor and wallpaper first and then do the furniture stuff. So let's pick that out first. I remember in my first one that I did for her, I did this wall. Um, but I think I want to do something different. And I also don't think we can do accent walls and stuff yet. So, ooh, actually, you know what? We sure can because I have the license for it. Okay, so what if I think I'll go with the birch floor. And I know I had this rug, but I think I want to do this rug. So I'll make her little reading area here and I will do the white bookshelves. I remember the first one that I did for her in the my old island was I made it very kind of dark and green and earthy in here, but I kind of want to do like mod pops of like the orange and the yellow and stuff. Let's see actually. I was hoping that green wall that we just put in the uh in my kitchen at home would be here and I would do the green and orange but I guess not. So I actually kind of like having the orange walls with the yellow accent wall. That's just kind of fun actually. We'll do a little side table, a little cup of coffee next to her little reading area. We'll go ahead and we'll put a bed. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put this one next to the bed. Put this one here. I always like um when I do like houses and stuff. When I have a, a bedside table, I always like to put a bottle of water next to it. <laughs> just so you have your bedside water. <laughs> I always do it. It's, I don't know why. Put KK Lullaby up here, her favorite song. This looks really cute, actually. So let's do a little living area. It's very open. Do we have a couch? Okay, we do, okay. Let's do the yellow sofa. Yeah. I was gonna do maybe a little kitchen right there, but there's no real kitchen items that I have that it, it lets me use. So I'll do a bathroom actually. I don't have any separator walls, so I might use some bookshelves to do that. <laughs> Now let's work on the walls. Maybe she's a plant girly. Okay, I think this is good. How cute this is, my goodness. This cute little like studio apartment. All right, I think I'm ready. It's ready. Oh, I forgot to change her clothes, but oh well. I always, I never do change their clothes. Their clothes. Oh, look how cute. It looks really good. I really like it. With my limited furniture availability, it looks really nice. Let's see what I can buy in the shop. How many pokey am I gonna get pokey? Okay, let's see what I can buy. I want this skateboard. Buy it. This chair. Buy it. Um, how much is this? A too many. Um, how much is the plant? Ooh, I'll buy it. Let's go. I'm gonna see if there's a bottle here okay looks like no bottles yet all right so i'm gonna go pick up the weeds and the vines and i'm gonna call it here so thanks so much for watching be sure and like and subscribe to my channel to see more next episode i think we're gonna have our campsite villager and be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment anything you want to comment and i will see you guys in the next one okay goodbye